to urgently mobilize adequate resources to fund these necessary programs and projects. Consequently, after extensive consultations, I have nominated the following persons for consideration and approval by the National Assembly for appointment as Cabinet Secretaries. I commend the leadership of diverse organizations, both in public and private sectors, including political parties, for their encouraging response to my outreach to consult on forming a broad-based government, their willingness to set aside partisan positions and interests in order to join a visionary partnership for the radical transformation of Kenya is a historic gesture of their patriotism. I know and I understand acutely the huge expectation of the people of Kenya on me and this administration. And I equally understand that that responsibility can be made easier if we work together as a nation. And as I said, the opportunity we have to work together across political lines, across different divisions, is much more greater than the challenge and the crisis we have in our hands. I take this opportunity to express my appreciation for their commitment and reiterate my pledge to engage alongside them in a national conversation that is inclusive, citizen-centered, and aimed at consolidating and accelerating the actualization of inclusive growth and national transformation. As I take this step, and as I exp expand and broaden this administration, I am acutely aware that the responsibility of managing the affairs of the country vested in the cabinet, in the expanded cabinet, will require of us to work together and to focus on that which brings honor to our country. I will shortly give you the list of my nominees. Just hold your horses. <laughs> Just hold your horses. Great. Um, oops. That's the old list again. It disappeared. Uh, 
I think this is, this is a problem of making it very confidential and not allowing many people to, to have a look at it. As you're all aware, the list I sent to the National Assembly, I have since amended so that Roslinda Soipantuya now goes to the Ministry of Defense, the Honorable Aden Baredwale moves to Environment, Climate Change, and Forestry. I have now forwarded the name of John Mbadi Ngongo to the Ministry of National Treasury and Economic Planning. Salim Mvuria Mgala, Ministry of Investment, Trade, and Industry. Ms. Rebecca Miano, Ministry of Tourism and Wildlife. The Honorable James Opio Wandai, Ministry of Energy and Petroleum. The Honorable Onesmas Kipchumba Murkomen, Ministry of Youth Affairs, Creative Economy and Sports. The Honorable Hassan Ali Joho, Ministry of Mining, Blue Economy and Maritime Affairs. The Honorable Dr. Alfred Nganga Mutua, Ministry of Labor and Social Protection. The Honorable Wycliffe Ambetsa of Paranya, Ministry of Cooperatives and Micro, Small and Medium Enterprise Development. The Honorable Justin Bidan Njoka Muturi, Ministry of Public Service and Human Capital Development. Madam Stella Soy Langat, Ministry of Gender, Culture, Arts, and Heritage. I am still working on the other pending nominees, and I will be announcing them shortly. Thank you very much. God bless you. God bless our great nation. Just hold your horses. Just hold your horses.